Okay. So I'm taking advantage of the day that everybody's off. So I'm just going to do another video. On my last video, unfortunately, somebody told me that they had PCOS and they were just diagnosed with PCOS and their doctor wants to do a hysterectomy. Well, not a doctor and I wasn't there and I don't know the severity of the problem. However, I know that PCOS is something that you can deal with it and you can heal it. You can heal it. I didn't say cure, but you can help heal PCOS with your... Um, with your lifestyle. I'm not going to say diet because it's more serious than just your diet. It's really a lifestyle. So a little bit about me. I was diagnosed with PCOS many, many, many years ago. And um, at that point, I was very, 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 very overweight. I had the dark neck. And if you're somebody who don't know what PCOS is, PCOS is polycystic ovarian syndrome where you um, still produce eggs. You still, you know, you may ovulate. Most don't. But you may ovulate, and your, uh, I would say your ovaries start to produce cysts. That's why it's called polycystic ovarian syndrome. Okay, so let's get this up. Let's get these numbers up. Please share, 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 share. Don't be scared to share, because this is a real serious situation. Um, women are, you know, being diagnosed with PCOS every day, and they're being forced to have surgeries. And this lady said she was only 37 years old. She's only 37, of meaning that she's still of childbearing years. And, you know, hysterectomy is so, oh my gosh, it's so serious because, you know, your uterus and your ovaries, those are your hormone producers. So basically, if they take your um, your uterus so early and things like that, you know, your body still has to have certain hormones. So you may be stuck on using um, hormone replacement for the rest of your life. And, and those hormone replacement are strong. Um, the body takes so much time to break them down. Um, it leads to other things, you know, your mental state and all of that. You, you want to be careful about that. So if you want to always do your research. And if you are looking for a holistic counselor, because I think that's something that would be great for somebody who has PCOS. Because it's a holistic counselor, we believe that your body can be given the right herbs, the right vitamins to start to um, regenerate your body again. Okay, so that's what PCOS is. First thing about PCOS, let's get this up to 100. So let's share. Let me have a share chat. How many shares do I have, Andrew? You can catch me on Hair Talks Mag. Um, that's my YouTube. <laughs> I don't give my personal page out. It's no reason. I'm never on my personal page. <laughs> It'd be a waste of time. <laughs> How many shares? And if you're looking for a holistic counselor, I am a holistic counselor. You can actually email me. How many? Okay. Uh, a holistic me a holistic me at gmail.com if you never heard of pcos then you're highly you're was it you're blessed and highly favored that's great that means you don't have it that's great that means you never heard of it it doesn't it doesn't mean that you may not go through symptoms of being um polycystic ovarian but yeah pcos is very serious i have several blogs on it that i've i mean it was therapeutic for me to write about it because i thought you know i've never been a person who <laughs> you're not cutting on me Okay, I'm not a, I'm not a cake. Okay, you're not cutting on me. In Jesus name. I was just that type of person. And I took a lot of um I would I would call radical 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 measures, okay? You know how you you hear radical so my head of radical surgery or radical this. And I feel like that's what I am. I'm a radicalist. So basically when I was diagnosed with that, I was basically getting on uh the internet Okay, get on the internet and doing my research and seeing how I can deal with endometriosis. That's all that I don't have that, but that is serious too. You know what I mean? Endometriosis is when the lining of your uterus exits and it basically grows outside of your um, uterus. So it's very painful and it's very hard to become pregnant and it's, it's very uncomfortable. And a lot of these problems, let's get this up to 100. How many shares do we have? Let's get this to 100. Then, you know, then I'll talk some more. Because this needs to get out there. There's too many women who are suffering from endometriosis, PCOS, hormone imbalance. We need more women in here. More men too. Okay, so let's share, share, 
share. Miss T says she was diagnosed as well. Miss Venetia, I don't have PCS. I love all of your natural tips. Uh, Jumpstart the body. Yes. Yes. And like I said, you know, if you don't know about PCOS, it's awesome. Because I know about it at 22 years old. And that was the first thing that the doctor told me. I was like, he was like, you have PCOS. And I thought I was going to die. I was like, what the heck is that? It was too many letters. Like, what's going on? I didn't know what it was. But I know the first thing. Andrew, how many shares do I have? Um, the first thing I was doing is basically, you know, uh, the first thing she put me on, placed me on is um, birth control pills birth control pills. That's the first thing she put me on. She also put me on diabetes medicine. And of course she put me on two types of um, high blood pressure medicines. That's what she did. How many? 20 shares. Okay, let's get this up to 50 shares, people. 50, 50 shares. I know this is a, uh, a hair page and a makeup page, but you know to get great health, great hair, great skin, you have to have health, okay? So guys, please go ahead and share, share, share. This is my gift to you today. I'm going to give you some great tips on how to deal with PCOS and endometriosis and all of that. But yeah, my doctor, my um, gyno, she uh, basically you know prescribed um, birth control pills and and you know I can't say the medicine, but diabetes pills and blood pressure pills. And I was like, I'm 22 years old at the time. I was 22 years old. I was like, I'm not going to be on all of these different medications. I'm too young. I was embarrassed. I'm like, really? I just got married. First thing you want to do when you get married, you have children and things like that. And I was like, I'm not going to have birth control. Birth control is anti-getting pregnant, okay? So I'm like, I'm not doing this. Well, I, I did this probably for, honestly, I did it for about two months. First thing I started having was cramps as if, as if I was having a baby. That is how it felt. It was totally painful. In fact, the cramps that I was having during I was during the time I was taking birth control were worse than my actual menstrual cramps. I mean, I would have like labor pain, like it was terrible. I was like, I'm not doing this. So I looked up um, what birth control pills are and what they are. It's estrogen, and it's super estrogen. It's not the regular estrogen that circulates through our body that we're used to. It's estrogen that's synthetic. It's super, and it's too much. Not putting down birth control because of some women, you guys, you need to be country, you need to be all nice and birth controlled up because you probably don't want to get pregnant. But it's ways that you can not get pregnant and not have to be on all of those different um, hormone pills because they're calling it birth control pills. But to, to be honest, it's, it's more than that. They need to just say it's hormone replacement. That's what they really need to say. It's hormone pills. If you say that, then maybe people wouldn't just run to it so quickly and then just want to take that. But yeah, it was terrible. And then it made, my menstruals made it very heavy. So I just, the first thing I did was I stopped that. I stopped that. And uh, my problem was, I didn't, I didn't care if I got pregnant or not, so I did stop it. Now, by no means am I telling somebody to stop their birth control pill, okay? You, you will not say Jenna told you to do that. You will not, because to be honest, I can't take care of your children. I am not going to support that. I'm not going to be there for the baby. I'm not going to do that. So do not at all tell your partner that Jenna told you to stop your birth control pills. Your man will look at you like you're crazy. Okay? So don't do that. But this is my personal story because I didn't care if I got pregnant or not. So that's the first thing. I stopped. Now, what else did I stop with PCOS? I'll say that at 150. That's what I did. How many shares? Sure, Boy, y'all gonna make me work for a hundred people, huh? Really? Oh, I know what it is. I'm hitting the cookout time. Everybody's at the cookout eating those burgers. That's what it is. I'm gonna get this up to a hundred, huh? Twenty-six shares. I could go to some fifty shares. Once you share it, please type up that you share it. <laughs> Anybody have any questions? I've been doing this all day. If you don't like to see anybody eating, get off the video. I'm just, I'm just letting you know right now. If you don't want to see somebody eating, just, just tune off. I don't want to hear, oh, that's so unprofessional. Oh my God. Why are you eating? Oh my God. Close your mouth. Please. Go and eat you a hamburger or something. 
Anybody else have any questions while I take a little snack? <laughs> Thanks for sharing. How many shares we got? I'm not talking about what I'm eating. That's really, look, look, that's really not what this video is about. Okay. You gotta look. Like my, um, subscribe to my video. I'm gonna subscribe to my YouTube channel. I actually got what I'm eating on there on one of the videos. Okay. I gotta work for my food, dears. I, you guys, I can't just give everything away. How many? 30 shares. Okay. Anybody have any questions? Besides what I'm eating. Talking about, about PCOS or anything like that. Everybody's at the um, barbecue. Oh, okay. Malaria. Um, I'm sorry. Mashera. Honey, I didn't mean to say malaria. Okay. You gotta understand that my eyes are not the best. I am a diabetic. I am sitting back far and I almost saw malaria. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that, okay? Um, yeah, email me. If you're looking for a holistic counselor to help you with that, Vitex, because Vitex is serious, people. Now, when you're on these videos and you just go out and you run out and you want to get these vitamins, trust and believe I've been taking Vitex for over 10 plus years, okay? I'm a professional. I've, I've made mistakes with that herb and I also know how to take it. So you might want to, you know, do your research a little bit more before you take it. See, I don't even know who you are. I don't even know if you're on birth control pills. I don't know what your situation is. So you might want to email me at a holistic me at gmail.com. And just like you pay for those piece, um, those Vitex, you have to pay for my services as well. I mean, it's just, it's, just, it's just fair. Okay? But yeah, be careful with that Vitex. Remember, everything I'm talking about, I've been doing for 10 plus years. I'm a pro at it. I'm just here to give you guys information. Augusta. Augusta. Please, can you explain more, Ma? First of all, I'm not your mother. Do not call me that. I'm Mrs. Jenna. I'm a married woman, and I'm of a particular age. Do not refer to me as Ma. See? See, women? See how I asserted myself? See? You don't have to allow people to just call you all kinds of things. No, 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 no. You let them know where you come from and who raised you. Hello? I'm not your mom. All right. Yeah, four four cycles a year. Yeah, it's crazy. So, okay, we're at a hundred. Let me keep let me keep my word. Okay. So when I got PCOS, the first thing I did, of course, I cut out the sugar. That's what I did. I cut out the sugar. I lessened my sodium, but one let's keep it real. I cut out all sugar. When I say I cut out all sugar, I cut out candy, cakes, pies, ice cream. You name it, if it was sweet, I did not eat it. That was what I did. What that did was it helped me with my, um, Kathy, you're too serious, loosen up. No. First of all, do I look like a loose woman to you? Okay? I am very serious about this. I'm going to tell you why. I have people emailing me every day talking about they got PCOS and their darn doctor is about to take their uterus. This is a serious matter. Okay? So, yeah. If, would you want, would you take me serious if I was up here laughing and, and, and just <laughs> all the time? No, I have to be serious because this is a serious matter. If you don't understand about your health and you don't take it seriously, that's a problem. Okay? And I take it seriously. Okay? And so I get people every day emailing me talking about they about to go into surgery and they're not even 40 years old. So what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to take it seriously. You wouldn't take me seriously if I didn't take it seriously. Correct? What am I supposed to do the jig up here? I'm not Chicken George. This ain't the plantation. Okay? I'm serious. So if I'm serious, you're serious. If I'm too serious, that means you ain't got nothing I'm talking about. So maybe this video ain't for you. Boom. Okay. So this is what I did. I took the sugar out of my diet. One thing about sugar is it's going to help you get insulin resistance okay who knows what insulin resistance is type it up put up a number 77 
if you know what insulin resistance is. If you don't, put up a 44. It's okay. You don't have to know everything. Hey, Trudy. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. So, insulin resistance is basically, this is what it is. Okay. Insulin, first of all, I know us people, the first time you heard about insulin is basically because grandma was a diabetic. Who knows that insulin is a hormone that we produce? It's a hormone that our pancreas, hello, how you doing? I'm taking you to school. I'm too serious. Ah, I'm a holistic counselor, baby. I'm supposed to be serious about this. Who else going to be serious about it, huh? Yeah. So, yeah, your pancreas is the organ that basically produces the insulin, Okay. Honey, we in Schoolhouse Rock here. You know how they used to get down? You know, this is like, God darn, uh, what is it, Sesame Street? You know how they say, one, two, three, or A, B, C. I got to teach you guys in a comedic, nice, vibe way. If I don't do that, you're not going to not gonna take it seriously, guys. This is how it is. If you don't understand my flow, sit down, watch for five minutes, and then you'll understand where I'm going. All right, so insulin resistance is something that we already produce. So it's something that you really don't need. Okay, so that's the first thing that a lot of people... Can you communicate to her, please? Okay, I'm doing two or three things. Yeah, it's something that we really don't need. So when somebody wants to constantly just put you on insulin, you don't need that. All you need to do is heal your body where the insulin that you produce... And I'm going to tell you, if you're a type 2 diabetic, you have insulin. Your pancreas is not... It's not broke. It's working. Now, if you're type 1, which is childhood diabetes, which you're born with, that's different. I'm not talking to y'all. So, if y'all on here, you're talking about, oh, that ain't true. It is true for a type 2 diabetic. Okay? Now, don't get me wrong. If you're a type 2 diabetic, you can turn into a type 1. And that's when you're using insulin. That means your pancreas ain't working. My pancreas was working. But what was happening was I was putting too much sugar in my system. Okay? I was putting too much sugar in my system. And um, it was depleting basically everything. It was overworking my body. So insulin was not, it was not a foreign situation. It was something that was normal. I got to slow down because I want to know if you guys understood what I just said. Put up the smiling faces if you understood what I said. Put up the mad faces if you didn't. I want to take a break. And I want to say, I want to see, because I talk fast. I talk as if you already know about it. I try to, I'm not a teacher, guys. I'm not a teacher. So, if you don't understand what I'm saying, I need to see the mean faces. Now, I'm going to repeat what I said. The reason why the insulin was not working is because it was not foreign in my body. What does not foreign mean? Not foreign means it is a person, it's a, it's a thing that was already there. So it becomes resistant because it knows, it, it doesn't, it, it's like, hey, you're a friend of mine. Now let me let you know what I'm talking about. If insulin is always in your body circulating, it's not going to do what it needs to do to bring your sugars down. But tie this in with PCOS eventually. This is a science, people. You thought it was going to be easy. It ain't easy. It took me over 15 years to learn my own body. Because remember, within those 15 years, my body changed about four times. Because you know our bodies change roughly between every three to five years. You do understand. This body that I have today at 36, it's not the same body that I had when I was 10. Do you understand that? I'm trying to put some, 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 some goodness up in y'all. Some smarts. Understand that this body right here is not the same body you were born with. Okay? So things change. So if you are eating a whole bunch of stuff that causes... Your insulin to always be in your body, what is it not going to do? Shoot it up. Don't make me overwork. There's only 100 people in here, okay? What do you think happens when the insulin is already in your body and it's always in your body? What happens or what doesn't happen? This, 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 I need four people to guess. There's four people. I need one person. <laughs> I gotta take a break, y'all. I've been doing this all day. But yeah, when your body, 
yeah it builds up resistance but why does it build up resistance because it, it's it, it doesn't look at it as something that's foreign we need the insulin to be looked at as something that just comes in once in a blue moon right that's basically what it is you need you need your body to not think that this insulin is supposed to always be there now, the way that you control it, guys, is don't put so much sugar in your diet. When you're putting so much sugar in your diet, your body becomes resistant to the insulin, and therefore, it doesn't work anymore. Now, what does this have to do with PCO? S. It has everything to do with it. If you are insulin resistant, you're going you're gonna to cause your ovaries not to work correctly. And remember, when you have a lot of sugar in your diet, Unfortunately, tumors grow. Cysts grow, polyps grow, and that's what happens to your ovaries. And when your ovaries are overworked and they have cysts on it, it gives a signal to your body that you are what? Just guess. What do you think that your body thinks it is when you have hormone imbalance? What's going on? What do you think? What do you think your body thinks it is? I just want to see if one person is listening. Take a guess. It doesn't have to be right. Pregnant. Miss Tony, how you want to carry it? Yes, that's Baltimore. I'm sorry. But yes, it thinks it's pregnant, Miss Tony. So if you're, and yes, that's just how crazy your body is. So you're wondering, why am I not getting pregnant? It's because your body already thinks it's pregnant. So once you're pregnant, one thing your ovaries don't do is what? What don't they do? Once you're pregnant, what don't you do? Yes, it is. PCOS is a monster. But it's a monster that can be conquered with your decisions. Remember, in the Bible... In the Bible, it says our food shall be our medicine. If you understand that, then you'll understand why I get on here a lot of times and I talk about health and I kind of like said, peace out to hair for one second because that's where it starts. Healthy hair, hair care, hair management, long hair, all starts with health. And yes, you're right. Ovulate, right? So you need to ovulate to get pregnant. So that's one thing you need to understand, and I'm, I want to put this message out there. I'm sorry I'm getting a little dark here, but I want to put this, this, this out here to you. If you want to get pregnant, one thing you cannot have your eyes on is a baby. You can't, the prize is not the baby yet. It's going to get it. The baby's going to come. We're going to claim that in Jesus' name. However, that's not what you should be worried about at this moment. Okay, if you have PCOS, the one thing you need to concentrate, which is going to help you not be so stressed when you go maybe two, three months and it doesn't happen, or six months, or however long it may happen, because to be honest, when you start to do these natural things, it takes it takes a while. It, it, it does, it's not overnight, and I'm not going to sit here and say it is. It is really something you have to do for a while before you see results. But your first Thing that you need to concentrate on is you need to concentrate on leveling your hormones off. Now, there's two hormones: it's estrogen and it's progesterone. Estrogen is the is the main thing, and then it's progesterone. And we probably know more about estrogen than we do progesterone. But just progesterone, if you have to remember what progesterone is, just take the P and the R. Pregnant P and the R progesterone, and understand that that hormone right there is going to help you get pregnant. It's going to help you continuously be pregnant. Your estrogen is the hormone that is going to help you get pregnant by ovulating. Now, sometimes if your estrogen is dominant, it's the same thing with the insulin. Okay? It's the same thing with the insulin. If you have a whole bunch of estrogen always in your body, if your estrogen is always dominant, what is going to happen? Your body is not going to use it. It's not looking at it as it's foreign. It's looking at it as it belongs there and it's not going to help you ovulate. So if you go years upon years upon years with not ovulating, having imbalances, you're going to go into PCOS. You're going to go into situations where then they're going to be like, you know what? You're not going to be able to get pregnant and we're going to cut you. 
we're going to take your organs. You don't want that. So that's basically what PCOS is. You need to get your estrogen together. You need to get your progesterone together. You need to lose weight. Now, that's the first thing they say, right? They say that the first thing you need to do when you have PCOS is you need to lose weight. And they say that like it's so quick, so easy. It's not. And, and, and that's one thing that PCOS helps you not to do is to lose weight. Okay? So they don't tell you that losing weight is hormonal. Like somebody asked me since earlier, like you don't look like you're vegan. I'm not vegan, but it was a joke. Like she was like, you don't look like you do all you do. You're too healthy slash big. You know, it is what it is. Like I'm this size because I have so many imbalances going on through my body that it's not allowing me to lose the weight. Like my diet, I should be about 150 pounds, but I'm not, you know what I mean? And it's not because I'm not eating healthy it's because my hormones are not balanced so I'm trying to get them balanced now you're only 132 pounds right well um yeah lose weight is relative you do understand that right see when people say you need to lose weight you think you have to automatically be 300 pounds to do so 132 pounds may be 5 or 10 pounds overweight for you just a little bit of pounds overweight and your body can be out of whack. So just because you're 132 pounds doesn't necessarily mean you should be 132 pounds for your size and for your blood type and all of that. You get what I'm saying? So lose weight is not just for uh, people that are my size. Lose weight is relative. Okay, can somebody type that up? <laughs> Losing weight is relative. So you might can stand to lose two or three pounds just to get your ovaries to to work so you can get pregnant if that's something you're looking for okay anybody else have any questions okay so let me do my due diligence if you are looking for a holistic counselor please email me at aholisticme at gmail.com there is an investment but it's a little bit of investment it's less than forty dollars for three months okay Make sure that you are subscribing to my um, video on YouTube, my YouTube channel, Hair Talks Mag. Please like, subscribe to that. Make sure you get the notifications as well. I do put a lot of videos on there. When I have time to do this, I just go ahead and just put videos up. So if you don't like a lot of notifications, don't have the notifications off. I mean, on, I just keep it real. I'm real, real, okay? But if you really want, you like this information that I give, make sure you hit that bell on YouTube so you can get, um, so you can get notifications about when I'm live, okay? All right, so all of these questions that you are asking, that's going to give me some great topics for another video that I'm going to be doing probably the end of the week because I've done about four videos today. I just said, let me go on here and do a whole bunch of videos. I hope you've learned. If you've learned something, please type up a number 77. That means that you've learned and you want more of this. I have other videos on my YouTube channel that you might have not seen me do. You can go over there, Hair Talks Mag, and like it there. And guys, thank you. And enjoy the page. Have a great evening. Enjoy the rest of your holiday. I'll see you later.